Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Katoa and I'm so happy to be back with another video. This one is quite long overdue. This is for the Spellbinders Winter Tales collection by Joka. I really really love her products, the products she designed for Spellbinders, but also her products in A Pocket Full of Happiness, which is one of my favorite shops. So I will be linking both down below as well as her channel now I wanted to focus today on the Nordic Ornaments die set that is a part of this collection and I thought I'd just assemble a couple of these to show you how they are meant to be assembled. And I am going to make some gift tags out of these, I'm not going to incorporate these into cards. So just die cut all of the elements, now I have to be honest, I'm not super happy with this colorway in particular. But I did make another one that I am very, very happy with. So I just um, die cut the, the main ornament and then I die cut all of the other elements and I'm just layering all of those on top with Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. As these are going to be gift tags, I am not layering any uh, elements <laughs> together to get extra dimension. These are just going to be gift tags. They are definitely going to get thrown out by the recipient. They're just going to be simple decoration for a gift. And I honestly just don't put a lot of time and effort into those. You can spice them up a lot more if you want. Um, but this colorway, I really love. I forgot how much I love craft with white and red and gold for Christmas. It's one of my favorite color combinations for Christmas. And I also made the large ornament into another gift tag uh, with a very similar colorway, but I replaced the red with green and that one was really nice too. Now I love a gift tag that you can write on the inside of, so I'm basically going to make mini shaped cards out of these. And I always do that the same way. I die cut two more of the base pieces and then I just put a score line in the one that is going to be the back piece. Um, and I fold that over and that is going to be my hinge for my shaped card or gift tag. The way you assemble this is just put glue on everything above the score line, like I'm doing here, and then put the next base layer on top of it. There's no fold in the second one or in the front one, so you are not disturbing your design in the front. You're just going to be able to fold this open without really noticing anything about that in the front. Once the base is assembled, I can then cover it with glue and add my decorated ornament on top of it. And there you can see you can fold it open, um, write a little message to the recipient of the gift on there. And that is the very brightly colored one. And this is the second one I made with the big ornament. I really love the shape of that and it gives you a little bit more space to write something in. And I also really love it for a um, an element on a card. So I am going to be using that for my card in a second. I really like the colorway of these. I am very happy with how those turned out. I'm very happy I made a second ornament uh, from the big ornament so I can make these as a set. Now for my card, I am going to be using this 3D embossing folder by Spellbinders. This is the knock on wood embossing folder. And when you use 3D embossing folders, you want to wet your paper a little bit. You can do that with a spray bottle, but I very much prefer using baby wipes. Um, it's a little bit more waste, obviously. Uh, I don't do it a lot. But it just means that you get a really nice even coating of moisture without getting big wet splats anywhere. So I very much prefer that and it prevents your paper from cracking in the embossing folder. Now, as I said, I am going to use the big ornament on this card, but I wanted to decorate that ornament with this deer from the Magical Deer die set which is also a part of this beautiful collection. I die cut all of the pieces and I die cut a couple of pieces also from white cardstock to give it a little bit more sturdiness to layer it up and give it some dimension as well. 
So I die cut the head of the deer two times out of thick white cardstock and once from colored cardstock. And for the antlers, I only die cut it once from white. Now I did cut off the base of the white antlers, so it was it wasn't disrupting um, the head when I glued it down. Because if you put too much dimension behind the hat, you're going to um, you're going to notice it, and I didn't want that. So this way, I only have one layer of cardstock behind the head, and that is going to help me glue everything in place as well. Now I layered them onto my ornament just to see how it would look. Once I was happy with the placement of the antlers, I put some purple tape over that to keep it in place and then I glued everything down. This gorgeous magical deer die set also comes with these tiny tiny flowers and leaves. I love that Spellbinders includes these tiny dies in most of their die sets. And it really helps you to spice up your image and uh, really make it your own. Now, I didn't go too crazy with the flowers. You can do them all different colors. That would be gorgeous, but I wanted to keep this ornament a little bit more classy. So I figured I'd just stick to a really, really uh, pale pink. This is blush cardstock from the stamp market. Uh, usually I don't really remember the cardstocks I'm using, but um, I looked very long and hard to find a pink cardstock that I love, and this is the one. So I thought I'd mention it. I really, really like this one. Now uh, I am going to add some depth to this background. It already has a lot of dimension thanks to the embossing folder. I have recently fallen back in love with embossing folders and I can't stop collecting them now, so that's my issue now. <laughs> but I thought it could do with a little bit more dimension to, um, to make the ornament really shine. So yeah, I added some ink blending to that, I even went with black. Now to soften the black afterwards, I do go back in with the dark red ink I used as well. I tied a little bow around the top of that ornament, which I forgot to mention, but that is the whole point of the gift tags I made before. You can really easily add a piece of string or a bow around that um, hanger piece of the ornament, uh, which made me think of a gift tag in the first place. <laughs> um, I didn't add a string yet because I always like to match it with the bow I put around the gift, so I always leave my gift tags without a string if I can. <laughs> now. I am going to spice up these flowers with some glitter drops from Pink Fresh Studio. These are new, they dropped fa fairly recently, and I got a bunch of colors. I wasn't going to get that many, and maybe I shouldn't have, but I really like them. Um, now they are plastic, so I think gems maybe look a little bit more... I don't want to say uh, professional, but they just look a little bit more better quality. Uh, these just look like the glitter drops you get from out of a squeezy bottle. <laughs> you can get those as well. Uh, the Nouveau drops, these, those are really fun too. I just like the convenience of gluing one of those dots down and they're already dry because the amount of times I go through a Nouveau drop and mess up an entire card it's a little bit ridiculous, so I thought these would help me out, and they are. I really like them. I glued a couple of gold ones down as well. Now that was a little bit hard with the amazing texture of that 3D embossing folder, um, but I managed. Just add a little bit more glue to make up for the valleys in the embossing folder, and you're golden. I love how this card turned out. Now I do have to say, um, my camera hates deep reds, like the burgundy reds, um, a little bit more muted, and it always makes my reds a lot brighter than they actually are. So <laughs> I don't like the photo I got of this, and I don't like the video I got of this card, but in real life, I love it. <laughs> so I hope you like it too. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out all of the links in the description if you want to find out more about these products. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.